Uh, I just wanted to show you, you all something. It's uh, raining, obviously, which means I'm in a storm. If you see, I am being moved around. I'm not moving myself actively, but I'm being moved around. If I'm flying, oops, you can kind of see that... Uh, okay, I am not moving myself now. Oops. The only thing I'm doing is recasting the flight spell, but I'm not moving. But you can see that I'm being moved around. There's actually a fairly good reason for that. Let's see if it's possible for me to make it back to my home. I should not be outside in the rain. And let's head down to our magic basement here. And you can see in the upper left hand corner, and if I go look at the Oculus, you can see that my air affinity has gotten up to 83.2. A lot of air affinity especially in comparison to everything else and if we look in the compendium uh, this is something that I mentioned before about the effect that affinities have um, on you and with the air affinity um, I get a bonus that allows me to jump farther or jump higher and I can fall farther before I take damage when I'm at 50 I can jump and fall one block more and when I'm at 75 that becomes two blocks more and at 100 it becomes three blocks more the downside is as you can see I'm hindered by rains and storms the winds blow me around and I must move slower and you could see that earlier the wind uh, the wind the rain was causing me to be blown around during the rainstorm it took me by surprise I wasn't expecting it. it's the first time I've been in the rain uh, since I've gained this affinity so uh, it took me by surprise but once I figured out what it was I wanted to show show you guys as well and the jumping thing is also in effect um, let me show you that really uh, let me see if I can figure out a way to show you that it's actually not that hard to see um, but for example I'm here now if I jump you can kinda see right there how high uh, how high I was jumping so that's probably fairly obvious but obviously normally you would not be able to jump over a fence post but I can you can actually jump up uh, I think it's about two or three uh, blocks and that is the bonus that I receive from the air affinity um, although while it sounds good it actually has caused me issues because um, it's just not something you're used to for one when you're running um, to jump a lot higher than what you normally used to Let's see if I can show it here well I can't show it because of the storm as you can see I'm being buffeted around apparently I can sneak to reduce that but of course that's just makes things a little more complicated um, but yeah the storm really causes me a lot of a lot of hassle as uh, an air affinity uh, mage, I guess, if you will. So, but that's uh, just another of the mechanics with Ars Magica, and I wanted to make sure that you got to see see it a little bit. Okay, so here we are. I uh, don't know if this will work, but I'm going to try it at first. Just a simple little hole in the ground. I can cast a spell, which will make the dryad appear, and then. If she starts bugging out, I can kill her. Maybe not. <laughs> she runs around pretty quickly. So let's try summoning. You cannot have any more summons. Ah. Apparently, I'm limited as to how many I can have at one time, which makes a little bit of sense. Come on, you. There we go. And I just keep summoning these fake dryads, and, and there is the nature guardian. Okay, so I should be able to attack him. Yep, and this is working pretty much as I thought it would. Now he's stuck in he's stuck in there, and he can't leave, which is good. He can throw his scythe at me, as you're seeing him doing. 
But other than that, he's not able to damage me. So this is pretty simple. Uh, one main thing is you don't want to get, uh, oops, too, f oh, somehow I've used up all of my spell. I wonder if he's draining, I wonder if his scythe is draining my mana. Possible. Hmm, interesting. My burnout meter went high too. Wasn't paying attention to that, but that's okay. I'll let him, oh, cast a few spells. It's my heal spell. I have my heal spell. That healing spell um, does not seem to be too terribly... Ooh. Aren't you special? Look at that. The healing spell doesn't seem to heal too much more at the higher casting levels, but it definitely uses more mana. Anyway, um, as I said, this is working. I'm able to hit him periodically like so. You cannot uh, just constantly attack. There's a brief moment after you hit uh, the, the bosses that they are uh, immune to damage, so I'll show that right now. You can see the second spell did not do any damage. Only the first one did. So you can't just do that. You just have to wait a second and then... Uh, fire your spell off again at him. Not uh, a big deal, but it's something that's important to know. The other thing is you don't uh, want to get too far away because when you're, if you're far away and you shoot him with a projectile, he will teleport to wherever you are. And so if you're thinking that you can just stay way back here and just shoot him and peck him off because he can't get to you well trust me that's not gonna work <laughs> he'll will actually come after you maybe I might uh, I might see if I can show that to you when I get him down to where he's almost dead but uh, yeah just uh, fighting him and it appears that there's no way to particularly dodge his thrown scythe Seems like he's got uh, like an unerring aim with that. Go ahead and eat some more food here. Which uh, kind of sucks. But uh, that's okay. This is still a fairly easy way to... You can see there I shot a little too quickly. And my second shot did no damage at all. As I talk about that brief, brief amount of immunity. A brief amount of time that the boss is immune to damage so he's got 49 hit points left and as you can see from the damage indicators mod is letting me know I do about 11 or 10 bits of damage to him at a time there we go so we're down to about 17 left so he's got about two hits left in him I should say I should have been able to hit him two more times so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get like way back over here and you can see if I shoot him from here he will teleport to me yeah see that Woo! there we go so that was what I was talking about as far as the fact that you cannot just uh, sit way back and shoot him he will teleport over to you and sure enough I got myself a red infinity orb which will give me of course a red skill point looks like I also got a little bit of nature essence but the red skill point is what I needed, and the red skill point uh, is what I will need to use to get to and unlock that duration modifier, as I was talking about. And as I said, I believe I need four of those, if I was correct. So I'm actually going to uh, do this a couple more times, a few more times, until I have four skill points. And I'll see you back over there when I'm going to make my longer lasting flight spell, or at least what I hope will be a longer lasting flight spell. Well now, I just killed one of the nature guardians, and it looks like its scythe is sitting there on the bottom there, and sure enough, it was. Wow, I have a scythe with soulbound one on it. Soulbound being the thing that, that will make sure I never lose it.
Um, seven attack damage, which is about the same as a diamond sword. Not used in any recipes. Um, let's go see. Uh, let's go see how powerful this thing is. Or you like that? Yeah. So we can come up to something and kill and attack it, like so. Yeah. And can I throw it like he does? Shift. Right click. Ooh. Oh. That just looked cool. Does it have it doesn't seem to have a durability. That's pretty neat. Can I hit an Enderman with it? No, it doesn't seem to have a long range. Come here. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Woo! Take my scythe. Bam! That's kind of cool. Uh, kind of neat. Um, damage is good when it's thrown. Although, um, not... Oh, it actually uses up some of my mana, too, when I throw it. That's interesting. It seems like... Oh, you stupid little thingamajobber there, golem, whatever you're called. I feel like it should do damage on its return path, too, but it doesn't. But that's still kind of a neat little thing, the scythe, the nature scythe. Uh, I bet you anything I could enchant it. It already has a soulbound enchantment on it, so I'm sure I could enchant it. And if I enchanted it, it would probably do... Uh, a ton more damage. I would bet. I hate those little mini golem. They do stuff like this. I'm leaving blocks of dirt laying everywhere. Okay, anyway. Uh, I have up to three of the uh, red skill points. So, just need to get one more, I believe. Okay, back at home. And, incidentally, I tried to... Um, enchant the scythe and it did not work so it looks cool and it's a neat little weapon but my diamond sword with the sharpness is stronger so i'm gonna have to say goodbye to the the scythe um it'd be nice if i could enchant it but that might make it a little bit overpowered uh but maybe not i mean i did have to fight the nature guardian to get it and it took some effort to get there but whatever uh, I've gone ahead and unlocked the duration modifier in the Oculus. So, as I said, we're going to try to create a self spell that is flight. There's flight. And we're going to modify that with duration. So, I could add damage three times. And it looks like I can add duration three times. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we'll call this extended flight all right there we go so i've made that spell let's see what it's going to take to make it uh blank rune on vintian dust lesser focus 500 essence one white rune one nether star we remember that from the original flight spell one gas tier three air essences okay these things that are three times they must be what the duration costs so three air essence three redstone and one spell parchment so that's really not so bad. I'll need to make another I'll need another nether star and another gas tier in order to make my extended fight spell. But I don't have uh, the gas tier right now, which will mean trips into the nether to fight some gas. And I'll take care of that as well as getting another nether star. And when I have all of that, I'll make this extended flight spell and see how well it works. Okay, I have made the extended flight spell. I'm gonna use this icon, I think, here for it. And let's see what happens on low casting mode. Cast it. And I got about six seconds of flight out of it. That really doesn't almost seem worthwhile, does it? Uh, the mana cost on that is 37.50. Mana cost on this one is 10. Yeah, it lasts a little bit longer, but really not by much looks like six or seven seconds um on the maximum power the regular spell lasted about 15 seconds let's see how long this one whoa that's up to like nine minutes of flight 
that is pretty good that we have to say is pretty nice being able to fly for nine whole minutes is definitely going to be worthwhile it cost it a huge amount of mana to do it but that is pretty amazing right there so um, I was hoping I would get a little bit of a longer duration out of the low powered spell but I will definitely take nine minutes of flight off of one casting that's gonna make a lot of the building of the arc so much easier and, and other things too just traveling around the world will be easier with a very long flight spell so I think that's gonna be it for this episode what I will tell you is I already have an idea of what I of the next spell that I want to make and put some stuff away here and I'm not gonna um, I'm not going to step you through it because there's really no need to do that. But um, I guess I can get rid of this spell. I don't use it anymore, and I won't need this one anymore. Yeah, it's a it's three thousand versus eight hundred, so it uses three and a quarter times as many, uh, roughly. No, that's not right. Anyway, it uses almost four times as much mana, but it went from 15 seconds to 8 minutes, and that's a huge difference. Uh, anyway, um, I'm the next one of the next spells that I'll probably make and try out is going to involve using um, the components that are life drain and mana drain. Um, and they don't require much. They require a sunstone. That's a little bit hard to get. I'll have to fly around the nether and, and find the, the sunstone. But... Um, the mana drain uh, doesn't require too much. I think I already have all that stuff. So what I think I'd like to do is create a spell that does damage. Um, I don't know what kind of damage I want to do. If I want to stick with frost, maybe switch over to fire. Frost is much more versatile, I think. Gives me... Um, very good damage because as you can see here it bypasses a lot of armor uh, it does pretty good damage but anyway um, what I want to do is make another projectile spell that does damage but also does life drain and mana drain or maybe I will just do mana drain I'm not sure my idea on that is every time I hit a monster not only will I gain health but I'll gain mana so whatever it costs me to cast the spell uh, I get some of that back by doing the mana drain. I don't know. It seems reasonable to me. I don't know whether or not it's a good idea or not. I seem to be doing pretty well uh, with just my um, with just my frost spell that I have now. So I'm not sure. It's something I might play with. But again, I'm not going to um, make you guys watch me do that. Uh, this will probably be the last spell I I have you guys uh, watch me make, unless something else exciting or new comes up. But, as I said, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.